Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather together during this Easter season, let us acknowledge our sins so prepared to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our high priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you free us from our sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior, to grant increase it to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who they obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not retain his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. But the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It was 21 years ago today that Father Steve Schreiber and I were ordained in this cathedral by Bishop Crowton. The cathedral looked a little different then. There was no plastic or scaffolding in that. And there's a few things that I remember from that day 21 years ago. It was a cool, rainy April 23rd. 
It's the feast of St. George, my patron, the patron saint of my home parish. And I can remember, I lived in Northeast at the time, and we were coming in, there was, the tradition was there was dinner at the bishop's house before the ordination at 7.30 on a Friday evening. And I can remember it was raining hard and getting, leaving the rectory to get into the car, and parishioners were coming home from work and they started beeping their horns, it, like, to congratulate, good luck in that. And then to see those same people two hours later here at the cathedral, I can remember processing in and it was a packed church, it was standing room only, and coming around by the baptismal fonts, seeing some of my cousins from out of town standing during the whole ordination mass. And then I think about the 21 years of priestly ministry. Probably the thing that sticks in my mind the most is the faith of the people, the people that I have met. You know, someone texted me this morning and said, think of all the people you helped. And I returned the text and said, thinking of all the people who have helped me. It's the faith of the people. And I say thank you for everyone I've met and have been able to minister with these 21 years. And I thank you for my prayers. And we remember in a special way Father Steve Schreiber on his anniversary as well. And we pray that God may continue to raise up men to the priesthood and to give us the strength we need to continue to serve. With praise and thanksgiving, let us present our petitions. For the Church and her leaders, may God's grace fill them with strength and enthusiasm in spreading the Easter message we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority throughout the world, may the Lord guide them in the ways of peace, justice, and conflict resolution. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate, especially from this parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, in a special way, we remember Norbert Trugerski. As we've embraced our loved ones in this life, may God embrace them in eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those affected by the coronavirus, those who are sick, for doctors, health care workers, researchers, that they may be open to the work of the Holy Spirit in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God-loving Father, we thank you for this day. We ask you to hear our petitions and grant them according to your will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine of the offering. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual good. Blessed be God forever. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to proclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, allow you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome the past of the world, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they have played. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy Lord, the fount of all gifts. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the people, so that they may become for us the body and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time when he prayed and entered willingly into his heaven, he took bread, and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and drink. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Lawrence, our Church, and all the Church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died by your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your grace. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of the and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every people, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said in your own peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.